Hi, Garden Gems. Did you know that you can make pink hydrangeas turn blue? That's right. With a simple, easy step, you can turn these beautiful pink hydrangeas into blue hydrangeas. And I'm going to show you how. The first thing you're going to need is this. This is a stoma, but you can get any soil citifier anywhere in any of the big box stores. Now, this is essentially used for hydrangeas and it turns hydrangeas blue. It says that you apply in the spring and it lowers the pH. So what you wanna do is use a cup. And now if you have a plant that is new, you want to use a cup and three quarters of a cup of this. Or if you have a plant that is already established, you wanna use two cups. I'm gonna use just one cup. You can see, whoo, it's a lot. Now, since this is in a pot, you're gonna use only a small amount of this escoma. And you're gonna sprinkle it near the outside, like that. And you're going to also use a fork just to mix it up. Now, this is not recommended for potted plants. This is recommended for plants in the ground. I'm gonna water some more and make sure it's all soaked in. And you wanna repeat this process every 60 days. Now, it will start to turn a little pink and then it'll turn this kind of like bluish color and a pink color at the same time. If that's happening, you know that's working. So that's what you wanna look for. You wanna look for it. it'll start to fade and start to be like a little uh, bluish and pink mixed in. And if you see that, you know that uh, this is actually working, but it will take some time. So it can, it can take up to about three months uh, for your hydrangea to turn blue or the op opposite pink. Now guys, there's certain hydrangeas that don't turn blue. And this is considered a mop head variety. And you can see, this is what it looks like. The mop heads look like this. They have like more of a oval shape or kind of like a mop head shape. The paniculatas, these are what the paniculatas look like. And they're more dome. You can see they're dome or oval. If it looks like this, then you can't turn it. Sorry, I'm <laughs> plowing away. If it looks like this, you can't turn it blue. It's going to stay this color. It's gonna stay a beige or greenish white. So only the mop head varieties turn uh, blue if you want them to turn blue. And you can do it the opposite way. You can also buy um, Escoma to turn a blue hydrangea into a pink hydrangea. And just showing you more of my hydrangea and just how healthy it looks. I can't wait for it to bloom. And this is the time that you want to put it in. You want to put it in uh, during the spring season. Actually, you want to put it in before the spring season so the plant will get acclimated uh, to the material that you're putting all that stuff in on the ground. So this one is a summer crush. And, and this one will turn, well, I'm not sure if it will, but I, I'm, this is an experiment that I'm doing. So we're, we're gonna see how this works. So after you put the acidifier in uh, your pot, you're going to want to water. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. You're looking at my blue enchantress hydrangea. This is the color blue. So I'm gonna make, wanna make sure that it stays blue. It is in a pot, you see? You can see the small little buds that are starting to grow, but I'm going to make sure that it stays blue. So I'm gonna mix it in like that, turn it around and mix it in some more. You can see I already did it, but I'm just showing you how I did it just for purposes for this video. But this is what I do. I just use um, the spoma and I just keep my hydrangeas blue because, you know, if you have alkaline soil, your hydrangeas will be blue. If you have acidic soil, your hydrangeas will be pink. In fact, this hydrangea I've had for about three years, it was pink at one point, but now you can see it is this beautiful blue. It did take a while for it to finally get pink. You can see the little pink still in, in the buds. That hasn't gone away. You can see the pink right here still. 
but yeah, it does work. So, I mean, if you take your time and you're patient and you start early, you definitely can turn your hydrangeas, the pink ones, into blue hydrangeas. This is what I was talking about. You see, they'll start to have a mixture of pink and blue so that way you know it's working but here you see the darker ones so what i do is i use the acidifier every 60 days and it's when it's in a pot it's easier to control than when it's in the ground because when it's in the ground you have to use two cups with the acidifier you can use um don't use that much but use enough so um you know it can turn blue Here's some more pictures of my hydrangea that I had before that's in the ground that I use that espoma to use to make it blue. So guys, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Let me know if you've ever used this product and if it was successful for you. It's been successful for me so far, but again, you don't wanna overuse it because you don't wanna burn the leaves because if you use too much of it, you can burn the leaves and it can make your plant unhealthy. But again, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, The Determined Gardener. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family or friends or anybody else that wants to learn how to change their hydrangea color because you can change it with some really easy steps that I have provided. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stick around for the next video. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.